Newsweek correspondent who has been covering... Look at that weirdo back there. Well, these proceedings over the last four years, you heard some yells and some screams back there? as the decision tonight was uh, handed down. Uh, your response? Well, Here I, comes. I was surprised actually at the protest. I think everybody very much assumed that Amanda Knox would go home tonight. Whether we should I suit, weirdo. The crimes or not, should... Uh -huh. uh, the protests tonight are surprising uh -huh. to me uh -huh. because these are Italians who are protesting their own judiciary. They're saying, shame, shame, you know, uh, remember Meredith, don't forget the victim. Uh, this was obviously it. planned in advance in anticipation of an acquittal tonight. Are you surprised by the verdict? No, I, I, I think we all assume it was going to go Check him out. <laughs> key forensic evidence. It just didn't happen the first time around. In the first trial, the, the defense asked for the same thing and didn't get it. This time they did, and it was a game changer. Yeah, I just want our viewers to, to really understand what these uh, protests are. There's a lot of people still milling around. We're not hearing the same sort of hey, protests that we there heard he is again. There he is again. Uh, just earlier. You said you were surprised by them. I was surprised because I think really I had thought that <laughs> Look how close he's getting. Look how close he's getting. Look how close he's getting. conviction was not clean. And as a result, I, I, I was surprised that people were... Where's the bald guy? And I think it comes down to actually the fact that, uh, that Meredith Kircher was a European, and maybe it comes down to something like that, because they're in the protests, they're talking about Meredith. Don't hey, hey, get out. Victim. This is not about the suspect. And uh, we'll see how this goes. It could just be the university... See you, fool. Now who's this dude? Meredith Kircher's in session. It could very much be part of that. It's a town that's had enough of this, isn't it? This town wants to move on. It's a medieval city. It's 14th century. Um, and since 2007, hey, look at these the chicks. headlines that they've seen about Perugia have been all about these proceedings <laughs> and not about the culture and the sort of virality <laughs> of those uh, and how much of the city. No, that's exactly right. And you're coming up on the Perugia's Chocolate <laughs> Festival, which used to be the most...